This lesson on journals is the second of two lessons covering accounting transaction recording systems. The two recording systems we look at, T-accounts and journals, are complementary. In the T-account lesson, we learned that T-accounts are used to balance debits and credits for each account in a balance sheet. In the end, when you look at a T-account, all you have is a set of numbers in those T-structures on a sheet of paper or on a computer. With the journal, what we end up having is a chronological record of what specific transactions occurred, selling a product, buying some supplies, paying a worker, borrowing some money. We have that chronological record and the different accounts involved in each transaction. It's much more helpful if you ever have to do an audit to understand where a mistake was entered into the financial statements. It also gives you an ability to match things up in a way that you can go recreate the judgment used when a given gray area was resolved in one direction or another for how a transaction should be handled. So when you're doing auditing or when you're trying to understand how things flow, the journal is a very good complement to the T accounts. And what we need to do is make sure that we understand how those two work together, how to work with things already in a journal, or how to take a sequence of transactions and build the journal entries themselves. So this is a capstone lesson where we bring together those two recording systems and make sure that you have a clear understanding of the logic and the structure of the transaction recording systems in place that bubble up into the financial statements we ultimately work with. Much of all of this recording process will be automated in any, any company that you'll work in, but it is important that you do enough work of this type and that you understand the fundamental concepts and structures involved so that when you're looking at financial statements, you know where those numbers come from.